Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a Maker Crate and I'm very excited for this month. I've really been enjoying the Maker Crate so I'm excited to open this box and see what we have in store for us this month. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today to give you some different curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this box. So this is a electro luminescent sculptures. That just sounds crazy and cool. I don't even know exactly what that's supposed to mean. It says bend and twist wire to create an illuminating piece of art. So I'm excited to see what this all entails because it sounds really cool. So this is the picture at the front. So that looks really cool, like making a sign <laughs> that glows on the street or something. That's what it reminds me of, one of those like billboard signs or something. So let's move this and see what we have. So here's another picture. This is kind of the idea book. You find the instructions for these online. It usually gives you a website in here, right here to go and find it. And then this is, gives you some extra ideas and sometimes it gives you some background on where these kind of crafts come from. So there's that book. And then we have a lot of zip ties. Don't get any crazy ideas of things you can do with these. <laughs> and then we have some templates, I'm guessing that's what these are. I'm not exactly sure, but it's like a thick roll of paper. And we have some string right here and wire so we have this one it looks i don't know if it's just a white one this one's green so i don't know if this glows white it has kind of orange in the center and then this is green this is just exciting <laughs> i never expected to get like this kind of craft it's out it's in the box but it's outside the box if you get what i'm saying and then we have these little strips i think they're like tape I'm not really sure and then this is metal so a big thing of metal and then some tape, some like wasabi. <laughs> That's not even how you say it, is it? I don't even know. That kind of tape. We're doing really well. <laughs> so that's what this is. And then some batteries right here. And then these wire cutters is what this says. That just sounds interesting. They always tape these boxes up so well, probably because they don't want me to get into them. But we're gonna see. Oh, here you go. So they're like, the little pliers, you know, wire cutters, but they are very heavy, so they seem very good quality. I feel like they send pretty good quality products in here for like tools to use, and I usually end up keeping them <laughs> because they're so good. This one is wire bending tools. So let's see the easiest way to break into this little guy and open him up. Oh, okay, so this was in that picture that we saw at the front. So I think these might fall out if I tip it too far. So I guess you wrap the wire around it. I don't know, we'll see. Again, this is this is really exciting and very different than what I've experienced already with the Maker Crate. And then we have this little box. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what this is for, part of the project. And then some little foam stickers. That's what these look like. And then this looks what our batteries are for, is for this probably to light up our sign so that's what's in this crate this month and it seems very very exciting so i'm excited to to do it and let you know how it goes
So I finished doing the Maker Crate and I loved it. I really, really loved it. I thought it was very therapeutic for me. I don't know why. I think I just been so busy doing homeschool and YouTube and blogging stuff that it was nice to do something different. And I used to do a lot more crafts and I just don't have very much time to do it all between kids and work and house and all that kind of stuff. I just don't have that much time. <laughs> so this one I really enjoyed being able to make something and just kind of going through it was, some people might think it's meticulous, but to me it was just kind of therapeutic and to watch a show and to, to do everything. So let me hold up the projects and I'll explain a little bit about them, explain some things I liked and some things that maybe I think could be improved, but here they are. So this one says hello, and I used the white light in here and then covered it with black at the bottom so that the letters would stand out. And then this one is with the green light around it and it's like a plant so that's why i chose to do the green one on this <laughs> and this bottom did not come with a container this is something i kind of thought up on my own after i guess i didn't completely think of it on my own because in here it shows kind of an example right there and so i played off that example and happened to have a container like this and then i filled it with leftover rock that i had like just pebbles like river rock i guess we had used to build dams and then I have a whole bunch of these small pebbles that my kids use for counters for math. So I have a variety of colors, but I thought the black looked best. So I just did a layer of those on the top because I didn't have enough to fill the whole container. And the string from the power source kind of blends into the black. So I thought it worked out well. So it's gonna be hard to see. I'll insert pictures of us lighting it when it's darker, but this one's easier to see than the clear one. You can see it kind of blinking at us or it goes really fast <laughs> if you want it to. But then the thing that wasn't my favorite was there's only this one power source. So if you want to have them both going at the same time, you need to be an electrical engineer or something. I don't know <laughs> because I don't, I don't know how to do it. So you have to disconnect this and it Velcros on the bottom in here. And the button on this one, wherever it is, so this button up here has to line up with this hole. So it'll sit in here and then you'd have to attach it to this power source to get it to work for this one. So it's kind of a pain a little bit. I wish they had just included another battery. I don't think it would have been that big of a deal to include another one, but it is what it is. <laughs> so that was something that I think could improve it if they just had another power source and I would even be willing to provide the batteries, but I just don't know where to find something that would attach to this. So maybe if you have suggestions, I'd love to know. Otherwise you could just have this one, you know, as a cute little decorative piece. It doesn't have to light up or anything like that. You could just have it sitting somewhere. It's cute, I think for like kids rooms or, you know, for maybe a school atmosphere, just to have it there, just your cute little plant. <laughs> And I really love this crate as well for, I feel like some of the crates cater to older, the older age of the, uh, the crate, whatever I'm trying to say here. So it goes from like 14 to 104 years old. So I feel like some of them cater a little bit to older audience and some of them are a little bit younger and not saying that you can't like this if you're older, <laughs> but this just feels more teenage to me or like young adult hood. <laughs> And so I just thought that would be cute. I'm sure they'd love it for a room or, you know, maybe put in a locker or something like that. So I thought that was really cute. And when I first watched the videos of the instructions, I thought it was going to be a lot harder to bend the wire than it actually was. So there's this little tool and they show you how to use it because you can take all these off and put the ones on you need to help bend the wire, depending how big you need the loop or small. And once I started using it and get the hang of it, it wasn't that hard. It was a little bit hard to finagle the wire, which they do mention because it's so long at first. It's like all over my table and hitting everything as I'm trying to wrap it around. So make sure you have a lot of space. But other than that, it was totally fine. And I thought putting on all the little zip ties on the letters, like, cause you zip tie the light on. I thought that was a lot of fun. Again, I just turned on a show and just sat there and did it. And I really enjoyed it. Again, I just thought it was very ther therapeutic. And I've said again a lot. I don't know why, but today that is my filler word of choice. So there was a few things left over, just a little bit of wire, which I think if you wanted to practice at the beginning, I didn't really practice. I just jumped in and started. 
I don't know if I'd recommend doing that, but it was fine for me. <laughs> so there's a little bit of wire left over that you could still use. There's lots of zip ties that you could save for another project. And then the little pliers were really good. I really liked using these. So again, they usually include really good tools that are fun to keep. So if you wanna keep doing wire art, <laughs> But I just really enjoyed this craft. I'm excited to see what next month brings and it just gives me a break and something that I don't have to go out to the store and get anything, it just comes to my house and I'm just able to do a little project and enjoy myself. So if you like these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time.